Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Darren. Today we're going to be doing a tour of my home theater, which I call it the Bus Theater. Now it's been a year since I've done a tour last and I made some changes and some upgrades, so I hope you like them. If you have any more questions, leave it down in the comments down below. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe and please tap that bell for more notifications. So let's get started right after the intro. All right, guys, so here is the tour of my home theater for 2021. Um, I only got a few extra pieces that, uh, uh, that I got last year. Um, probably gonna get maybe something else different yet this year, so we'll see how that goes. So right now you're looking at the front of the theater. Uh, this is a 7.1.4 uh, system. The seven speakers are the Air Motive from Emotiva. Four are from uh, Micah. And then the subwoofer I'm currently using is a Martin Logan Danimal 300, which I know I'm breaking the rules. I need to have two subwoofers in the, in the system. Haven't gotten around to that yet. Um, I'm being very picky. Uh, Emotiva is coming out with a new one soon, so uh, probably end up getting that one. So let's just see how it goes. So we'll make our way to the back before we go to the front. And uh, it's a little messy back there, but uh, just ignore that. Uh, that's where I keep all my uh, home theater magazines and my some of the movies that uh, or just won't fit my area. So we we'll start off with the rear speakers, which we have here is the Emotiva E1s. Uh, I believe they are discontinued and I don't think you can get them anymore unless you can find them on eBay. But uh, these are very nice sounding rear speakers. And obviously they are mono, so like those speakers. Uh, you have some decor here, an old popcorn thing, which is not, I don't use at all. My Evil Dead uh, lunchbox, big Evil Dead fan. Here is the other uh, rear speaker. Give you a nice close up shot on that. That's more decor. We have a uh, sliding door here from the downstairs. Pocket door, if you want to call it the right way. And I'm also using two Lutron light dimmers, which that needs an upgrade because it doesn't really work well with my remote that I'm using. So uh, I have to upgrade that too. That's one thing about home theater is that it's it's a never-ending upgrading task. Uh, Wizard of Oz poster there. And on here on the bench, I have my Harmony 900 remote control that I am in the process of updating. Uh, my, Nvi yeah. my NVIDIA Shield remote control controller. Have some headphones there that I'm using which are from um, I can't remember the name um, Jabra's. These are Jabra Elite 85H. Uh, excellent noise canceling headphones. And then here we have uh, an old projector reel from my grandma. And these are the last two movies that I watched. Moving on up to the newest addition to my theater. Uh, these are the E2 Plus from Emotiva. And these are just awesome speakers. Love these speakers. Uh, you have an uh, option to use uh, doing it in bipole or dipole. And I have these in bipole setting. So uh, they, from what I hear, that when you have Atmos speakers, uh, you don't want them in a dipole uh, format. You want to have them in a bipole format. So, 
that's just what I hear. Uh, if you have any more comments about that, leave it down below. Here's some more decor. And then uh, switch over to the side here. Some more decor and the other uh, E2 Plus. Batman poster. And then we have the uh, Ghostbusters poster. And we're gonna move up to the front. We'll get to the in ceiling speakers in a little bit. So this is the uh, projector I'm using right now. This is currently the Epson A350. Um, I know it's an old projector and uh, it shoots out 1080p format. I'm looking for a 4K projector, but it's uh, a little on the pricey side, so I'm just waiting for the prices to come down. Uh, open to suggestions as to what I can use for a long throw projector uh, and what's good for the money. We got some more posters along the side there. We got the uh, Indiana Jones, the Doctor Who, and you gotta love the Star Wars. Down here we have uh, my couch from Menards of all places. Got a good deal on it. Um, I don't know, it sits well. It's got the cup holders and all that stuff and storage on both sides. So it was a good deal on that. And of course my, my cat monkey, he likes to sit in my seat all the time. Uh, so now we'll move up to the front of the, the uh, theater. So now the screen here I'm using is a 112 inch with a three inch velvet, black velvet tape around the edges. Um, and then the uh, fabric is a blackout fabric that I got from uh, Joanne Fabrics. Works out really nice, I've been using it for a lot of years now. Uh, the table that I'm using down here is a table from ikea so if you're looking for that that's where i got that from that's two tables put together so works out nice we we'll make our way to the front here so here's that subwoofer i was telling you about this is the martin logan danimo 300 uh cannot find another one around so i'm gonna end up like i said earlier switching to different subs um I was just listening to the latest Emotiva podcast and they said that they're coming out with a uh, SE11, I believe, is the sub. So that's going to be out in a couple months. So I'll probably be looking to get into that one, making a little bit of a jump. Here's my right main speaker, and this is the E1 Plus. I had this set up in this configuration. Uh, it's worked out best for me. Um, and they're on 24 inch stands. I think most of you probably want them to have be flipped over the other way, but believe it or not, with the tweeter, the way where it's positioned right now, works out the best when you listen to two channel and it sounds like it's coming right smack dab in the middle uh, where the singer's supposed to be. So it sounds really good. So right here is the Emotiva C2 Plus. Phenomenal, phenomenal center channel speaker. Uh, the dialogue is super, super clean. And um, I don't know if I can get any better than that. Uh, unless I want to spend thousands of dollars on a center channel, which quite honestly, if, if this meets your criteria, and it meets your standards. Why spend thousands of dollars on the center channel when you can get this one for a really good affordable price? All right, moving on. Like I said, here's the other main speaker, which is the C1 Plus. Again, I have the tweeters pointed towards the inside towards the center channel. Like I said, to me, it sounds way better than having it the other way. Um, that's just my opinion. You have, uh, like I said, leave suggestions down below as to what you like and what would you want me to try and whatnot. Here's some more decor. 
Now I'll get to the front Atmos speakers. Like I said, these are the Mica M8Cs. Uh, they're about $40 a piece. And at the time, Emotiva did not have the Airmotive in ceiling speakers. So these will be a change in the future. Uh, for now, these work out really nice. I'll show you the back ones over here. These are the rear. And what I like about these is that the tweeter is uh, movable and not just set in one spot. So I do have them, these aimed towards the back of the couch. And I have these aims aimed towards the couch. So you get that nice uh, V-shaped bounce towards the listener. All right, so now we are making our way to the rack, the brains of the system. Here's a rack that I have. Very nice rack. It's got a little messy bottom drawer here, but I like that uh, drawer. Most of my stuff in there. Uh, now the rack is uh, made from a guy that I used to work with. Uh, it's built right into the wall, so it's not going anywhere. It's housing everything. Um, had it for a lot of years. So we have the little inside lighting here, which lights it up pretty nice. Um, but we'll start from the top here. So the top here is the uh, Emotiva UPA5 channel amp. I've had that since 2005 as my workhorse and it has not let me down yet um, so this is a very valuable piece for me moving on down is uh, an upgrade what I've had from before I had a Yamaha uh, 7 channel receiver and I moved up to this Denon X4500H got an awesome deal on it uh, from Dream Media Home Theater out of Texas uh, you know those guys. He has a YouTube channel. Um, give Zach a call. Awesome guy to talk to. Very, um, just got a, a lot of knowledge and all this stuff. It is a nine channel AVR receiver. It can process up to 11. So if you're using the pre outs in the back and get some more amps, like I should be doing in the future, uh, that's what it, I'll be doing. Next down the line here, we have a Panamax uh, M5300EX surge protector. Here again, I've had it for a lot of years and uh, not sure what I'm gonna get next to replace it. Maybe a Furman, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe a monster cable, we'll see. Moving on down, so we have the, uh, another new addition I have. That I've had for over a year or so. Um, this is the LG UBK90. Works okay for the money. Um, looking forward to getting a Panasonic 820. The 9000 is just way out of my league, so uh, I'll stick with the 820. Here at the very bottom is the 2017 NVIDIA Shield Media Player. I uh, love this thing, uh, do my Hulu and Netflix and all that stuff, and then my uh, internet, which is Spectrum. So that is my rack for now until I get my amps later down on the road. So this has been my tour of my home theater. Oh, I forgot to show you my movies. It's not a lot of movies. Uh, I'm very picky of what I, what I buy. First, gotta like them. And then it's also about the sound of codes as well. Uh, and how it handles the system, makes the system sound nice. Uh, but this is the tour of my home theater, so I hope you like this tour. And uh, like I said, looking for suggestions and comments down below. I'll answer as many as I can. And uh, take care. Have a good day.